Hi folks and welcome back to another lesson. I hope you are incredibly well. Now this choice morsel was selected by Tim over at Patreon, so thanks indeed for your support over there buddy. I don't know if your surname is Slaterous or Slatterous. Let me know and I will pronounce it, you know, properly-ish next time. So we're in standard tuning. We are playing Josephine by Chris Cornell. You're going to need a capo on the second fret if you want to play along. Um, and the first part you don't need a pick for. You're going to need fingerers. So the intro goes like this. Okay. And I think Chris mainly uses his, is just his fingers to strum this. I'm going to flip over to a plectrum there just because I find it easier. Uh, but you want to be doing, I mean, you could do an A minor shape if you want. But you can get away with just one finger here. Now I'm using my thumb on my second finger here for those two notes. And then you hammer onto the first fret. Then another A string and the open B. So you're going to take your first finger off there. The next bit is the low E. I'm going to call them what they are regardless of the capo, right? The low E, but you play the fourth fret on the G string at the same time. Again, I'm using my same fingers there. And then you just pull off four to two to zero. That gives you time to put your first finger or your thumb if you want, but I would go first finger onto the first fret on the low E, and then... There I'm using my thumb on my first, and then my second finger for the open B, right? Then... So you do a little pull off, two to zero, and then you do a double stop on the A and D and you hammer on with a C shape. So, that slowly, okay? Three, four. Notice that it's a little bit quicker when you go to the C, right? Again. for illustrative purposes. Next part is, again, a little bit quicker, but it's not too tricky. You've got another double stop with your, you're only hammering on one note though. Then you do thumb and second finger. You're hammering onto the octave there. Stay there because you're then gonna do, you're gonna do a quick grace note hammer on and pull off. Again. So to speed we have. Then. That's pretty straightforward. You're playing. And then a G. I think it's a G6 maybe. You don't play the top note basically. And you let that ring out. I'm going to switch to my pick here. Okay, so you've got. So you're going to play C shape, C sus4 shape, C shape, all off. Just that. And it resolves to that G shape, right? Then put your little finger on. And you're going to start the verse. Now the verse parts, I've tabbed the chords and some of the strumming, but not all of it because there's loads of incidental stuff. But the vibe you want to go for is... Right, 
that's the verse twice around actually with some fills too. So that's all you need. But chords first, G. And you could play these. Chris kind of mixes it up. You see him playing this a lot because he moves between the, the G, the C and the F like that. So very little effort and he kind of ignores the top note a lot of the time. So if we start with the G, then to a D, then to an A minor, all your fingers are coming off and changing here. Here you're just moving one finger and then F to G. All right, let's do that again, but with some strumming. So we're gonna do something like down, down, up, down, up, down, change, okay? But don't get too bogged down on the exact, you know, strumming pattern. You just wanna kind of feel your way through it, right? Once you've got the chords down. So again, that first part would be. The rhythm when you come to these parts, because they're only half as long, is much more eighth notey, isn't it? So when you see a chord that's only two beats long, aim for that. And there you've got. Okay, so. Down, up, whack, whack, change. And you'll hear some open notes as well as you change between the F to the G, perfectly fine. Now the second verse, there's some fills. And he basically plays, he strums the chord, right? But without his first finger on. And then you hammer onto the second fret on the A string. And then do some strumming. Same with the D, you do a sus4 thing, right? And then back off. Like that, so one, two, three. The little fill is on the two ands. You'd count one and two and. Okay, three, four. And then you've got more of the uh, A minor to C. And then F to G. Chorus part is lovely, a few more chords to deal with. Let's go through the chords first. You've got an E minor to G. Then you've got C to G. Okay, that rhythm. And then you've got same chords that this time you go C with G in the bass to D with F sharp in the bass. See my thumb over the top there? And the next bit's lush, it goes like this. And the bass note walks up, you've got So E minor, D with F sharp and the bass to G. And you can leave your little finger there on that um, third fret. When you get there if you want. Then you got this. That is A minor, E minor, F, C, G. So let's run through the whole shebang slowly, okay? So we've got.
you into the verse, okay? Now for the second verse and chorus, same rules apply. The only difference is, as you're coming out of the chorus, you stay on the C after this part. <laughs> Okay, so you don't go back to the G. And then you go into this middle eight part. That's the first half, let's do that bit first. So we've got B minor. To a G. Then we go C, G, E minor, G. Okay, then we go B minor again to E minor. This time it veers off a bit into some D chords. back into the verse. So it sounds like there's a lot going on there, but you've got B minor to an E minor. Then we go D. And we've got this diminished chord, right? E minor. Take your second finger off to make it E minor seven. So, C to A minor. And D to D sus4. And towards the end of that, from the C. Not much strumming going on, all right? So you let those ring out. Then you go around the verse again, and then the last chorus goes. So that part's the same. And then it goes into 6-4. Nothing too tricky, but you're just going to play this. And you finish on the G. So I've just repeated the same thing three times. A minor. E minor. F and then C. And then it slows down and then eventually you go to. And that is it folks, you are done. I hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Cheers.